So, they say no one is buying graphics cards. Is that true? Well, maybe sales are down, but I chose to pick up an RTX 4060 Ti. So join me as we take a look at the card's performance as it relates to mining. It did not take long for gamers to voice their discontent in the lack of performance compared to the prior generation. Is this the case for our community? Let's take a look. Throughout the video, I'll compare the RTX 4060 Ti to the last gen 3060 Ti, as well as the 2060 Super. This should give us an idea to where we should be making investments in hardware in the future. Since the core intensive algorithms have stepped up to grab a lot of people's attention as of lately, we'll first take a look at Alephium. We can see here that the new card produces approximately 1.46 gigahashes, where the 3060 brought in 1.13. This is an improvement of 29%. Can't really complain about that considering that this is what a 3070 Ti produces. Now I'm going to fill in the rest of the chart with Ironfish, Caspa, and Radiant. Looking at Ironfish, we have a 31% improvement, followed by Caspa at 12%, and Radiant having a 35% increase. While I'm not speaking to the power draw specifically, I will highlight that the RTX 4060 Ti is also accomplishing this using approximately the same power draw as the last two generation cards. So from what we have gathered here, the RTX 4060 Ti is performing well for these projects. But does that stay true when we look at what I call legacy projects, such as Ergo and Flux? Let's take a look. Starting with Ergo, the 4060 Ti will deliver 89 mega hashes. Unfortunately, this is far short from the 3060 Ti's 166 mega hashes. And at best, it puts it on par with the 2060 Super. Looking at Flux, the comparison in cards is not as drastic where I was able to achieve 55 solutions with the 4060 Ti. Returning to the topic of power draw, this is where we can see some improvement. While the card does not yield much more, if any, productivity, it does accomplish its task with the least amount of power. Unfortunately, in review of these projects, the concept of newer is always better falls flat. I believe this is due to the decision to change the memory interface from 256-bit in the 3060Ti to the smaller 128-bit interface in the new card. To a degree, this should not come as a surprise, but it does give reason to not pay much attention to the upcoming 4060 and 4050 cards. Moving on, we'll find a whole new definition to Kapow! And it's a complete shit show. I'll throw up the numbers, but there really isn't anything positive to speak to. Maybe power draw, but then card density comes back into the picture, and it's not much worth the investment. Here's a review of all the projects I looked at. If you're curious about a project not listed, leave a comment below, and I'll crunch the numbers for you. I'll wrap up the video with a brief review. Since I do like the Founders Edition design, I am okay with my purchase and plan to place the card in my gaming rig. I still play at 1080p where the card will perform just fine and that will allow me to move the existing 3080 to the farm for 24-7 operation. The RTX 4060 Ti performs just fine on core intensive algos. As miners, I think we can find the performance gains to be acceptable and definitely better than the gamers saw from their last-gen cards. However, those very same projects are starting to get a lot of attention from ASICs and FPGAs. 
Eventually, we're going to focus on the ASIC resistant projects, such as Flux, and that is where the entire lineup of the 4000 cards fall flat. The mining community is better off looking at the used market. The 2060 Super is still a favorite card of mine, and the 3070 will still be the go-to card for the last generation from NVIDIA. That will wrap up the video, but if you happen to have a 4060 Ti, share in the comments below what you're using it for. Is it for gaming? Is it mining? And if so, which projects? Of course, I can't let a video end without encouraging you to hit the like button. And if you have not already, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. And as always, be mindful of your uptime and thanks for watching.